I am recording now, right? So let's go ahead and talk about this culture autobiography essay. Everybody should have their own copy of these instructions because there is something in here that you guys are gonna have to, uh, you know, uh, type up, right? Which will be a graphic organizer, right? This will be important for you guys to really make sure that you are including everything but pretty much you have everything organized, right? It, it kind of will help you answer any questions about what you should write next and what comes after this, right? all of that kind of stuff. Okay, so that's kind of like me trying to help you out in that sense. So uh, hopefully we can really limit the questions of like how to really go about it. But you know, questions in, gen questions in, gen in general, I would glad I'm happy to answer them, I'm glad to do that. Uh, but. It's always best to make sure that we all know what kind of what's going down. Okay, so over the past several days, right, we have looked at many different aspects of culture and how a person's culture impacts their view of the world, right? Even if it's like the government, the economic system, or the type of language we speak, or kind of even what our family looks like, right? Kind of all that stuff. So what you guys are supposed to do, right? You guys will choose three elements of culture that are most important to you. Right, they are seven here. Let me just kind of remind you what they are. I'm just gonna include them on here just for the sake of including them. Right, so we have social, let me, oh, let me change up the color here. Let's go with blue. Social organization, yeah. Uh, customs, traditions, you have religion, language, Oh, whoops. Well, I mean government too, but I'm gonna keep them in order. Arts slash literature, government and economic systems. Okay, so those are the seven elements of culture that I'm talking about, right? The things we've covered the last you know couple of days we were together. You will select only three of them. Okay, you only select three of them that you feel like these are the ones that are a huge role in your life. If you're looking at these and you're saying, I can't relate to any of that, you know, like my family's whatever, I really don't have any traditions, I'm not religious, I only speak English, uh, I'm not really that creative or like to read, and I don't care about political, you know, higher up stuff like these two. Even if you're like that, even if you're saying that I don't relate to this, I don't have that, there's still a reason why you're saying that, right? There's still a reason why you are not religious. Uh, you know, even if you speak one language, how do you use that one language when it comes to communicating with other people? How come you're not really into like any arts or literature, you don't care about government or economic systems, right? There are always reasons why you're taking a stand on certain things. And I would like to know more about that. Why do you feel like you're not religious, why your family is kind of like meh, right? Or that your traditions are not really that special or you feel like they're not special. I don't care, right? Tell me, I mean, that, that kind of that, that, uh, kind of comes off wrong, but I'm just meaning that like, it's okay if they're not special. It's okay if you feel like you don't really feel like you belong, you know, with a certain idea or something like that. That's fine, tell me about that. I'm really curious to know how you view yourself and you know, the culture that you belong to, or you feel like you don't belong to, right? There are many things you can say uh, for anything, even if it's like a yes or no. Yeah, so parents is an element, right? Is a social organization, right? Anything involving to do with families, how your family is organized, uh, like kind of what rules are put in place in, in your specific family, like, like Lauren, I'm just using you as an example, Lawrence. Yeah, like for education, you know, like how important is education for them? Uh, what are, just in general, like what are they teaching you, you know, in terms of like what you should value the most, right? So that's kind of what social organization is. How are the families teaching children, you know, how to become a, I don't know, a functioning member of society or just kind of like teaching them things that they want to teach them. So yeah, that, those are some good examples. So once you selected three of those elements, okay, now I would the what I would like for you guys to do with those elements is to just describe them, right? Tell me about them. The biggest thing though is that I would like for you guys to be specific. Okay, if I'm getting ahead of myself, right? So 
each of the three elements are going to be, you know, each of your body paragraphs. So one, so again, five paragraphs in total, you'll have, you'll have your intro, then you'll have the three elements of culture. And then of course a conclusion, right? It's going to be a brief one. Check the chat. Yes, I'll get to that. Um, okay, so the first thing that we should be doing is defining the element in your own words. I would like for you guys, oh, I would love, yeah, I would like for you guys to try out and explain things in your own way, okay? The, I value that much more than just kind of giving me the correct answer by copying and pasting the definition of an element. Yeah, I know what the definition is because I gave it to you guys. I want to see how well you're able to look at those definitions, try to understand kind of what they mean. And, you, and I want you guys to tell, uh, retell them, re-explain it to me in your own words to show me that you really do understand what each element means or, you know, what the, the three elements that you're using, what each of those mean. Okay, so that's kind of like the first thing we should be doing. Uh, so, <laughs> Um, you'll you have it. I mean, Machi, Machi. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, it will be due next Monday. You will attach a new document. Okay, you'll attach a new document. Okay, so I'll try to answer those questions at the very end. So let me just kind of go through all of this. Uh, yeah. So define the element. Explain why the element of culture is important to you. Right. You selected this el this element for a reason. What is that reason? Okay, why do you feel like you needed to talk about religion? Why is it that you wanted to talk about the arts and literature? Why? Okay, and please be specific. And, how, and, and also how it helps you shape your view of the world. Okay, so again, if you're saying that you're not religious, how does that affect uh, your ability to view people who are religious? Like, do you look at them and think like, wow, these people are really dumb for believing in like God or something like that, or vice versa, right? It's like, oh, wow, I can't believe all the people who, don't believe in God because these reasons. That's kind of what I'm talking about. But the main thing though, right? The main thing with this, what I'm saying with this is that you need to use specific examples, okay? I don't want you guys to just say that music is important to me, right? Or religion plays an important role in my life. I'm like, that's it. And then you move on. Please give me examples, right? Why is music important to you? I would love to hear about you know, your favorite artist or what kind of instruments you play or just kind of music in general, or again, religion, you know, why is it important role in your life? You know, how has it affected you personally and how you interact with others? Or right, I would like to know more about that kind of information. So just expand on more things. Um, yeah, so give me examples and how it plays in your life and your view of other people, right? So like an example, like music for me is I like all kinds of music, but I really, really, don't like people who like country because country is dumb. And I don't know, that was a really bad example, but just kind of like in that way where you're kind of expanding on a thought and providing more information. So that's kind of like the main bulk of the assignment, like the main thing that I would like for you guys to do, right? In these three body paragraphs, the intro and the conclusion, conclusion they're kind of like, you know, basic stuff, uh, but like the main center of everything is gonna be here in your body paragraphs. So. You must complete the organizer before you begin typing, right? So just kind of, unless you're a person who like already knows how to organize it, you can already go ahead and get started on uh, typing the essay, go for it. But I would still like for the organizer to be completed. Okay, show me that at least, you know, prepared for it. You kind of, uh, so it kind of gives me an idea of where you were at mentally in terms of like, you know, organizing this essay. Um, should not be shorter than one page. So one page plus. Right, so it cannot be less than one full page. That's all I'm that I'm really requiring you guys of I mean, of doing. Uh, so if you're planning on doing just uh, the bare minimum, uh, which you know it's kind of a bummer, but if you're gonna plan on doing the bare minimum, at least making sure that it's one full page, right? Not like barely, you know, almost a page, right? One full page. So you'll, it will be due at the end of, uh, I know it says the end of class on Monday. Oh, the copy that I sent you guys, it has the wrong date. I forgot to change the date before I sent it to you guys, where before I made a copy for all of you guys. 
<clears throat> excuse me, uh, please make sure that it's that it says or that you kind of like edit it and mention that is due on Monday, October 12th. I understand that we don't have school on Monday. Um, that uh, uh, yeah, that yeah, that day it's uh, Indigenous Peoples Day, right? AKA or formerly known as, in my opinion, Columbus Day. Um, so it makes sure that we kind of turn at the end of the day, right? So at the end of the class, at the end of that day on Monday, October 12th. Worth 50 points. Organizers worth 10. And this is what the organizer looks like. Okay. Um, I don't know if somebody had a question about it. Okay, yeah, let me let me address that. Uh, so of course, in the intro, all I want you guys to do is just kind of like define the culture in your own words. Remember, just kind of like give me your own definition for it. Do not give me just the definitions I've already given you. Okay, that doesn't really tell me if you understand what culture means. So kind of tell me in your own words kind of what it's about. Uh, which three elements will you be using, right? Kind of list them all out there. Uh, but yes, uh, I kind of want you to really tell me. So like if element number one, right, I'm going to pick arts and literature. Okay, of course, yeah, I want you to tell me how is the element important to you, or I could talk about, you know, that I just love listening to music, listen to music so much that I eventually start playing, you know, musical instruments and start playing with friends. And again, I can talk about all of that. So Lawrence, you were asking, how does it define you? Yes, I do want you guys to explain each uh, element of culture uh, in, in a way that, you know, you're describing how it defines you, right? So for me, again, as an example for arts and literature, talking about music, how does it define me? Well, I usually like, let me type it out so it kind of makes more sense. Okay, so music defines me in a way um, I'm trying to formulate sentences, put my thoughts together in a way that it brings people together through, you know, shared experiences like going to concerts or, you know, listening to a new album from a favorite artist. Okay, so here basically kind of what I'm saying is that it allows me to go out and meet new people who may have different musical tastes than I do, or who uh, shares the exact same musical taste as I do. It defines me in a way that it brings, it helps me bring people together and I want people to, you know, hang out with one another through music. Same thing, you could say the exact, exact same thing about sports, uh, about the types of books you like to read or you know what kind of art or theater you like to watch or learn about, right? You got a question? Uh, what do you mean, Lawrence? Like, I mean, I just kind of told you what you should say, you know, for like how it defines you. Uh, but no, it's not just like all three elements, right? It's just for the one specific element, right? For example, arts and literature, right? So you'll do that question for each of the element. I don't know the usage of God. There was, no, never mind. I'm going to keep going. Okay, so kind of like go about that for each element, just basically telling me why does it play such a huge role in your life? Why are you selecting this? Or maybe why it doesn't, why you kind of like, again, don't like religion or, uh, you know, you just hate a type of musical style like country. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. Here, I'll leave it on here. Actually, I'll, I'll do this. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Okay. Let me know if you still have any questions, right, everybody, about this one. Okay. Um, I have a feeling it could be a little tricky, but hopefully we all get it. Uh, then the conclusion is just you guys answering these last three questions, right? It's kind of like, how will you wrap up your essay? How are you going to sum it all up together, right? You just gave me all these different experiences, all these different ideas of kind of like who you are and what you're about. How are you going to just kind of wrap it all up? Uh, and also just kind of let me know one last time, why did you choose the elements that you did? Why these three and not the other four? Okay, you could tell me why the other four maybe don't play such a huge role in your life and you just don't really care about them. Okay, or just talk about how important the three you selected are in your life. And of course, just kind of describe your personal culture in one word, right? If, <laughs> uh, this one, describe your culture, personal culture in one word. You can do it in one word or just kind of like sentence, right? Or quote, something like that. Just anything interesting that will just kind of like wrap it up completely. Just give me one last idea of who you are as a person and, you know, what is one thing that I should, you know, just kind of leave or, I mean, finish the, reading this essay thing in my like, wow, I just learned a lot about, I don't know, I'm just gonna pick a name. Jordan, that was the first name that I saw. Wow, I was like, I really learned a lot about Jordan by reading this. I'm glad that he finished up in this way. But then that's, that is pretty much it, okay?